What is going on guys? This is probably the most confusing Edge of Spider-Verse slash Spider-Man 2099 issue known to mankind. I swear to God. Now, throughout the issue we're going to see various Spider-Man 2099 alternate timelines and stuff like that. Now, when it says Earth 616 and Earth 6375, basically the main universe that we know, so the Amazing Spider-Man, Superior Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2099, them universes are Earth 616, so they're like the main universe, and all the other universes like Earth 6375 are just alternate dimensions, so like alternate versions of Earth 616. And I'm explaining this now because it is so confusing. Well, it's not for me, but for you guys when I'm trying to explain it and stuff, it gets really confusing and hard to keep up. So that's why I'm saying it now. But basically, the other Earth numberings just mean alternate versions of Spider-Man, basically. So yeah. But anyway, before we get into this issue, I just want to announce that I actually did a giveaway for Spider-Man 2099 issue 4. So, I randomly chose a winner, so here it is on screen now. You are the winner of Spider-Man 2099 issue 4. So congratulations to you, and I will have your code with you in, within 24 hours. But yeah, so for you guys that didn't win, don't worry, I've got a million other giveaways to do, so don't worry about that. And yes, of course... I am doing a giveaway for this issue as well, so basically to win the giveaway just let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this issue, so what did you think about, well actually I don't want to spoil it, but yeah just let me know what you thought of this issue, and once you've entered the giveaway hit the like button as well to let me know that you guys enjoy these giveaways and these reviews, and yeah I'll choose a winner in Spider-Man 2099 issue 6. Now, without further ado, let's get into this awesome yet confusing comic. Alright guys, so we are kicking this issue off in Earth 98120. Now, in case you don't know what that is, the original Spider-Man that we know is from Earth 616, so the 616 universe. Whereas this is the Earth 98120 universe, you, you'll get what I mean. But basically, we are looking at an alternate Spider-Man 2099, we're looking at an alternate Miguel O'Hara. And basically, he has been feeling like he can feel like a presence, like someone's following him, like someone's stalking him. And of course, he is absolutely right. Right there, you can see that Marlon has come to kill the Spider-Man 2099 of this alternate dimension or reality or timeline or whatever you guys want to call it. Now, pretty much Marlon is just completely overpowered, basically, towards these people. Captain America, Wolverine, and I think this guy is called Jen. Uh, none of these can beat him whatsoever, and he straight up kills Jen. I think his name's Jen anyway, just if it's not, then let me know in the comment section below. But after that, he walks up to Spider-Man 2099 and kills him. He has killed the alternate version of Spider-Man 2099. Now, in case this is where it gets a bit confusing for you guys, we have now gone back to the 616 universe where... The Spider-Man 2099 that we know, you know, that we've been reading about where he's trapped in the year 2014. This is him now. So, he's actually chasing these bad guys. And when Marlon killed the alternate Spider-Man 2099, so like an alternate version of him, he actually got like a migraine in his head or something. And obviously it put him off chasing after these guys. But anyway, going back to this comic, I'm trying to explain it as well as I can so that you guys understand it completely. Right here, we actually have Spider-Man 2099 so confused as to why he got, like, this feeling in his head as if he just got killed. And he has that feeling because an alternate version of him did actually just get murdered by Marlon. And this is where it actually gets really interesting and really confusing. Another alternate Spider-Man 2099 actually witnessed Marlon killing this Spider-Man. Now, this is where it gets a bit confusing, so if you guys don't understand at all or anything like that, then just leave it in the comment section below and I will actually explain it to you. But yeah, going back to the comic, so we have Captain America actually saying how he's glad that they might never see Marlin again. And you know that it's a serious villain when even Captain America is frightened of this guy. Now, we have gone to Earth 6375 where we are now looking at an another alternate version of Spider-Man 2099, so another alternate version of Miguel O'Hara, and of course in this reality, he's actually in a relationship with Mary Jane, and basically he created a portal to take him straight to alternate versions of himself, because he kind of had the same idea to put together a team of Spider-Men, but of course we saw it there just as he got into contact with Spider-Man 2099, Marlin actually killed him, 
But of course, we have now gone back to Earth 616 and basically he's telling Alchemax or Tiberius Stone to actually build a super villain prison and of course, because Peter Parker in uh, The Amazing Spider-Man actually just failed at building a supervillain prison. So now Alchemax is going to try and take over that and build their own prison. And just as that's about to happen, Miguel gets this awful pain in his head again. He gets that same pain that he had when he was Spider-Man. And of course, it's because Morlin is killing another alternate Spider-Man 2099. And this time, it's a younger Spider-Man. So, basically, every time Spider-Man 2099 or an alternate version of Spider-Man 2099 gets killed, all of the Spider-Man 2099s in existence in alternate realities all get the same pain in their head. And it's just so interesting, yet so confusing. But yeah, so back there, we actually did go back to Earth 6375, and he actually explained how Morlin is afraid of the 616 universe because that is where he actually died. Because if you remember... The Amazing Spider-Man Peter Parker has actually killed Morlin twice already. So 616 is what Morlin's afraid of. And as you can see, that Spider-Man 2099 that I explained that to us has actually just travelled to the 616 universe. And just as that Spider-Man is about to step through the portal into the 616 universe, Morlin grabs him and kills him in front of our Spider-Man 2099. And... This is where Spider-Man 2099 of our universe, the 616 universe, realises that Morlin is afraid of 616. He's afraid to go into the 616 universe because he has already been killed there twice already. So, he knows that the 616 universe is a little bit more powerful than the rest of them. And, as you could see there, it did say that this is going to be continued in the Amazing Spider-Man issue 9. Now, in case you don't know, in The Amazing Spider-Man issue 9, that is where Spider-Verse kicks off officially. That is where the actual event starts. So, yeah, what did you guys think of this issue? Because, personally, I absolutely loved it. This is, for me, this is a solid 9 out of 10. Mainly because it is just so different to most of the other comics that we've already read. It is a lot different than the other Edge of Spider-Verse comics. And I really enjoyed this issue. I just love the idea of another alternate Spider-Man 2099 actually trying to get to the 616 universe because Morlin will not go there. I It seems like Morlin and the rest of his family, like Khan and all that, are actually stocking up and absorbing like the life force of other alternate, easier Spider-Mans, like less difficult Spider-Men, to maybe get enough power and the enough strength to enter the 616 universe and survive. Like, so, yeah, it seems like they're just preparing themselves for when they fight the Spider-Man from the 616 universe. But yeah, so, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Don't forget about the giveaway that I am actually doing on this issue. And, of course, congratulations to the person that won the giveaway for Spider-Man 2099 issue 5. Or 4. It is 4. <laughs> issue 4. Anyway, guys, I think it's time to end this review here, so... Again, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Don't forget to enter the giveaway, and of course, don't forget to hit the like button once you have entered the giveaway, just to let me know that you love these reviews and you love these giveaways and stuff. And most importantly, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you love my videos, and I will see you guys in my next video.